Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a look at a lot of pre-owned inventory here at the Tampa store. And our chauffeur today is gonna be Mr. Tom Bennett. Hey guys. Welcome back to the show. So guys, this uh, we're gonna take a look at some pre-owned units. It's gonna be very exciting. Tom, this video I wanna look at some A's, some diesels. I know we got an Allegro bus we're gonna look at. Um, we got some B's in and some C's. We're gonna take a look at everything. And while we're on our way to the very first unit, uh, I do want to let everybody know, we started a third YouTube channel. Tom, am I crazy? I think you're crazy. Yes, sir. <laughs> the third YouTube channel is called Matt's RV Reviews Pre-Owned, where I'm going to be showing you guys pre-owned inventory primarily at the uh, Tampa store, Ocala store, and Jacksonville store. But I'm going up to Richmond next week, and I'm going to spend a few hours at the Richmond store and um, show you what used inventory that's there. And when I go to Utah and when I go to Michigan, whenever I'm at certain locations, I'm going to spend a couple hours to show what pre-owned units. But Tom, well, welcome back to the show. Happy to be here. If somebody sees a unit that they like in this episode, how do they get in contact with you? Well, I would say give me a call or text on my cell phone, which is 561-348-4231. Tom, what's the first unit we're taking a look at? I think we should start out with some of the A's. We have some really nice class A's here. Is this Sun Cruiser still available? This one's still available. This is a great unit right here. It's a wonderful floor plan. It's a 38Q. It's a big one. It's one of the biggest gas motorhomes. Uh, I, I was about to say 2016. Tom, Winnebago doesn't even make gas motorhomes like this. I believe this was the 30K chassis. I, I think it's a 26, but we'll okay. double check in there. Okay. I can tell you it's on the biggest chassis that was available at the time. It's the largest unit, and it has a wonderful floor plan. It's got two gigantic opposing slides up front, a big slide in the bedroom. For someone who's really going to spend a lot of time in it and wants that living space on a full-size gas motorhome, I mean, this is it. I love this floor plan back then. I still love it now. Let's take a look. All right, so this is the 38Q Atasca Sun Cruiser. Huge floor plan on that 26,000 pound chassis with the big wheels and tires. Tom, we did confirm it was 26,000. It is 26. Hey, you know a thing or two. <laughs> Every now and then, I'll get lucky. So this floor plan, what, what I think makes it the most special is the fact that it has those huge slides across from each other. It's a wonderful amount of living space. It really feels like a diesel as big as it is. You have this huge Winnebago custom couch here that'll lay out into a bed. It's all motorized here, so it's just really convenient, easy to use, and it just gives you a ton of space here. Right across from your corner TV up front with the fireplace underneath. Yes, sir. Got this nice recliner couch set up. Winnebago's um, fancy piece that can slide. Oh! Um, it also pulls out so you can make it into a cedar for four, but I've seen people use this for like an office setup. Yeah. It just gives you a really cool, uh, multi-functional way of doing things. Not only that, if you're solo, you could just set it up in the corner to give yourself a little more space over there and just completely remove the chair. Yeah, you could. Yeah, nice chairs here too. You see a, a little bit of what Winnebago um, does differently. Big residential refrigerator, a wonderful kind of corner kitchen with this fixed peninsula right here. Gives you a ton of storage underneath. Huge sink, crazy big pantry right here. All this counter space just makes this really a, a chef's dream as far as an RV goes. Tom, Art Deco? Art Deco. There you go. <laughs> go now, on. this is a 38 um, with one bathroom. So it gives you a ton of that mm. living space. On one side, you got a sink, big rectangular shower right there, pocket door that lets it uh, be very easy to access. Across from that, you have another sink and then a big, um, big toilet space right there too. Plenty of leg room in there. I think that with two sinks like that, this could kind of replace the need to have a bath and a half. A lot of right. people need a bath and a half for that reason, just to have two sinks. So that works out pretty good. Here in the back, you've got a, um, let me get that fixed, stackable washer dryer. Very nice. And then tons of storage space in here, lots of drawers, king size adjustable bed. Yes, sir. Ceiling fan. Yes, sir. And then over here in this medicine cabinet. Oh, liquefied. Link in the bio. Tom, it's a great motorhome. One thing we didn't touch on on the outside is the one thing I like. So this was the adventure back in 2016 in the Sun Cruiser, right? Atasca, Winnebago. The one thing that they did with these was the aluminum slam latch doors. They don't even do that on today's adventures. They don't. Back in the day, um, which this is what? Five, or six actually, old. yeah, I'm sorry. They do now on the new, new ones. Or maybe there's... 
I, I, I forget if they're For aluminum. For a few years, though, I think it was 18, 18 or 19, they, they kind of brought the price of the Adventurer down and took a few things out of it to be yep. more competitive price-wise. But in this time frame, the Adventurer was, I mean, the top, Dude, top, it was 200000 back in 2016. It was an incredible motorhome to see, far more expensive and valuable than you see in a lot of them. And Winnebago did some great things. I mean, you see how you have individually laid tiles. Of course, you have Winnebago's construction practices with their interlocking aluminum structure. It's, it's as good as it's going to get for a gas motorhome and priced really well being that it's in that perfect What's age the, range of RV. And I really wish, find the price first, Tommy. Okay. I really wish people could see on camera the quality of this cabinetry, the quality that we're seeing. And this one too, it's in excellent shape. I mean, it's like brand new. So I could really see how someone could uh, get a good value out of a unit like this. Now you did mention those slam latch doors while I'm looking that up. We can take a look. These are aluminum luggage doors, like you'd see in a big diesel. Yes. Tons of pass-through storage space in here. I mean, that's two huge pass-throughs right there. I love it. Got one more here. Oh, they put in some nice uh, AGM batteries too, so you usually don't see that in a brand new one. That was added after the fact for sure. Napa know-how. What's the price? This oh. one, one second, let me find it. It's a 2016 Sun Cruiser. It's listed at 149 on sale for 136 but of course, we're gonna give you a great deal. If you give me a call, we might be able to work out something special for you. Perfect, and the final touches? Final touches, you got the big awning right here. Of course, this has a fiberglass roof. I don't see how you could go wrong with a unit like this. So moving on to the next one. All right, so what do you got going on next? So this one, I really love this unit. It's a pre-owned 2022 Flare 29M. Now this is by far the most popular floor plan. It's great for folks who want to stay under 30 feet and still have a great amount of space. This M floor plan has an outside kitchen, huge awning, and a few options to this one in particular that I think are really cool. Um, so as you come in here, um, you'll see that you don't have the dinette, you have the L-shaped dinette, which is a big hit for folks who like to travel in the RV. It's very comfortable and it also leaves this floor plan very open. Now, yes. I actually met a guy who, who loved this for his dogs because it left all of this open space. For sure. That would make it more comfortable for him. Another option you see here is the residential fridge. In oh. 22, it could have or could have not had that. Um, also, you have the dual AC 50 amp hookup which, you know, a lot of these are 30 amp single AC. We're down here in the Sunshine State where it gets a little hot in the summertime and having that second AC certainly makes a difference. Yeah. King size bed here in the back, nice window towards the end there, tons of storage space. If you're trying to keep things small, uh, but also have as much living space as you can, I mean, this is the perfect floor plan. So I'm a big fan of uh, what you see there. And something else, we sell this product new. So we have 23s new huge discounts to get them to 129,000. This is a year old, 2,500 miles. Mm. And we have it discounted to a sale price of 109. That is a deal. $20,000 savings $20,000 for, for uh, an extra thousand miles on it. That works pretty well. Works pour some well. toilet, nice shower and area. This also has your Godzilla engine here with the V8 instead of the V10. It's got everything a brand new one's going to have, but another thousand miles on it and the first owner who gave it back to us. So I think this is a great one to consider if you're into this unit. For sure. Let's take a look at the next one. All and right. just so everybody knows, they can get an extended warranty on this, which I can promise you is not $20,000. So there's some pr pretty big savings buying uh, a year old one versus the year newer one yeah the hard part about that because it is kind of the perfect scenario for if you're trying to save some money it's just you there's no pre-owned factor somebody has to just conveniently trade something like this in but somebody's going to make out pretty nice with what they brought back to us speaking about making out pretty nice we have not one but two coachman beyond but tommy this isn't a beyond this is a crossfit what's the deal so this crossfit is actually what we saw before the beyond came out 2019 was the last year that you could get a coachman crossfit before it was renamed the coachman beyond but you still have the same feature same size it's a dual rear wheel 22 foot transit chassis which is a wonderful riding uh, class b my particular favorite yes um, as we check this out the c4 plan itself offers you a few things that are pretty great in this model, compared to a lot of others at 20 feet, you have a huge bathroom. 
lots of space in there. In the CrossFit, you can see you have really nice woodwork, induction cooktop. Now check out that fridge freezer. Most yeah. of these class Bs have that tiny little piece. This has a separate fridge and freezer. And then this C model has your couch area that makes it to a nice comfortable bed. This is all motorized. You push a little button right over here and you can see it oh, just man. lay out flat just like that. Just like that. Good TV setup right here. Wonderful window packages with both of the pieces there. You can even see the soft touch leather that you have on the back there. Coachman always does a great job with their Class Bs. I think the quality you get out of these is spectacular yep. compared to a lot of what else is out there in the same price range. And then right on the four chance, it's absolutely phenomenal. It truthfully is one of the best driving experiences out there. Tommy, do you have a price on this one? This one, gotta figure out which one it is. It's the, uh, this one is listed at 89. 89 for a B van. And then we're getting this baby turned on. Oh wow. 74,000 miles, Tommy. Yeah, this one certainly got some use. But it's still so clean. So you know what? I bet you somebody used this as a daily driver. They may have, or they did a lot of traveling. I'm, I'm not too sure. Um, I know we have another one of these, a 2020, that I took in on trade. and. Um, with that one, they were just kind of going on a little trip here or there. And, and they traded in for another Coachman Class B, right? Yes, they had a great experience with the Beyond and just wanted to go up to a 24-footer. So we, Let's uh, check it out. Uh, we helped them out. That's this one right here. Yeah, this is it. Now, this is the 2020, so it was changed to the Beyond name. And then this is a 22D, which is a little different floor plan. A little different layout. Uh, you have a lot of the same features up front. The same um, big uh, bathroom here. You can see this one has the lighter wood. So some people prefer that. So okay. It's up to you. You have the same fridge freezer, but instead of that couch in the back, it has these two big uh, uh, big couches that'll make into one large bed. So Or two I, single beds. Or two single beds. Yeah, that works out pretty good too. Um, I like this one for the fact that if you open this up in the back, you could bring something up in here. Like if you had some bikes or if you had something to use for additional storage, even if you made this into a bed and left it all the time, you'd be able to slide things in there. So it gives you a great storage on top of having um, this layout instead of the couch in the back. I'm loving it. Still good size kitchen. And, and you know, me and Tommy, we're short, but still, I mean, tons of headspace in here. It's very, very nice. Tommy, I'm gonna check the mileage. What's the price on it? This one, this one, the 20 Beyond. I have two of these. Um, oh, nice. One's at 110 and one's at 112. Um, this one. Oh, come on, somebody. Miles. Somebody uh, tightened this too much. Okay, you got the mileage. Yes, this one has uh, 31,000 miles and nice. the other one has 28. These are still going to be under warranty. That Ford Transit has a five year, 60,000 mile warranty, which is transferable on the chassis there. So it's still well within that time. Now, another thing that's different about the 2020 Beyond as opposed to the 19 CrossFit is it moves into having a Firefly system, which is really great as far as use of the RV goes. It has your inverter, solar, the Truma Aqua Go, and a Wi Fi system. So this one's pretty well outfit. We sell these new, and the Coachman Beyond a 2023 will run you 145. But this one is going to be like $30,000 less, maybe even a little bit more. And it's in perfect shape. It had a great previous owner, a good friend of mine. And we'd be happy to find a new one for you. Tommy, I thought a $20,000 savings was good. But you're talking 30 or even more possibly? Even more possibly. I think with this one, um, we probably could do somebody a pretty good deal. Perfect. Speaking of good deals, this Sunseeker has to be one of the best deals on the lot. What year's the Sunseeker, Tommy? This is a 2016 Sunseeker. You couldn't tell unless I told you about its age because it is in such great condition. Um, a few things unique to this layout. Yeah, there you go. These tires. Can't tell. I can't tell the age. I don't see a date on it, but they look pretty they, clean. They're they pretty clean tires. Yeah, it's not an original tire, but they have a flip where the stamps on the other side there. Um, we can figure that out when the time comes here. Yeah. Check out your decals. This certainly was kept outside of the sun. Um, and what I like most about this Sunseeker in particular is it has some really nice options. Let's take a look. The Sunseeker by Forest River is um, not the highest end. It's like a mid-level within Forest River's lineup. But this one has some options that are unusual for a Sunseeker to have. It has the leveling system, which is a big foot. I mean, that's like a $6,000 
uh, automatic leveling system that they added on this after the fact. Um, it also has the ride right um, upgrade on the uh, on the suspension, so it has airbag suspension on your rear axle, and then it has your four door fridge with an ice maker. It's a pretty good setup. And the floor plan itself uh, gives you a lot of space. Wonderful looking kitchen right here. Couch right across from your television, just really comfortable. Right between, uh, right where you're standing between those two chairs up front. Also turn around. Uh, big U-shaped dinette's a wonderfully comfortable thing to travel with. And then you got this big four-door fridge. So those are unique to uh, optional features this Sunseeker has that a lot of them don't have. Um, here you have a split bath, so you have a wonderful size in your um, in your shower. Walk around bed in the back. Closed off water closet right there. Tons of storage for a 30 foot class C that you can get, you know, probably in the, we have it listed at 69 um, as far as the sale price, but wow. probably a little bit of wiggle room. A little here. bit of wiggle room, Tommy. Hey, come down, give Tommy a call, make him a deal. <laughs> I think it's a good setup for someone looking for an affordable class C. Um, it's only a few years old, but it's in excellent condition mm. and it has options to it. Like I was telling you before, you don't typically see it. Even has a cold weather package. Yeah. If you're looking to go uh, into some cold weather, you'll be ready to do just that. And Tommy, we have a ton more pre-owned units. So two announcements, guys. Again, if you guys are loving this pre-owned, make sure you subscribe to our new YouTube channel, Matt's RV Reviews Pre-Owned. We're doing A's, B's, C's, Diesel's, Travel Trailers, Fifth Wheels, and Toy Haulers all on that one program and it won't be with tommy it will just be me solo but you know um we'll always get it to you asap with the pre-owned so make sure you guys check that out also doesn't matter what rv you buy the one thing i would always travel with is the rv trip wizard so let's kick it over to a quick commercial break and tommy we got a lot more motorhomes to show everybody this episode is sponsored by rv life pro RV Life Trip Wizard allows you to carefully plan your RV trip before you go. It will show you every campground along the route and let you plan important aspects of your trip like fuel, rest stops, break areas, and more. Know before you go with satellite views, street views, elevation, and grade charts. Then use the RV Life app to navigate your dream trip exactly the way you planned it. We are doing a free seven day trial and 25% off with promo code Matt's RV Reviews, no spaces. Thank you so much to RV Life for sponsoring us. Let's continue the video. All right, we're back. We got an 03 Bounder 35R, uh, 05 Excursion, and a 2011 Revolution. Uh, again, guys, make sure you subscribe to the pre owned channel. We we will have videos on everything pre-owned um but tommy the one we're here to see is that beautiful tell tell us what what's that right there right there um just after this nice revolution we have is a 2015 allegro bus 45 lp which is a wonderful layout tons and tons of space it only has uh, 30,000 and change miles on it's in great condition i think this is a wonderful savings for someone who wants that allegro bus quality but they might not want to spend 600 grand Two hundred and eighty nine thousand dollars right. let's take a look at it one the paint job looks absolutely fantastic 45 foot tag axle sits on the power bridge chassis is it this year it's the power power glide power glide yes that's what you have with the allegro bus which gives you an Suspension, side radiator, um, a wonderful rail system, convenience in its drive. Wow. It's really nice. So this layout in itself has your big L-shaped sofa wow. with foot rests that pop out right across from your little desk area, recliner. You've got the big TV and of course your fireplace, which is very comfortable. As you move towards the back, look at the size of this kitchen. Wow. And Tommy. the quality in it. This countertop is just beautiful. You've got the extra pull out there, tons of storage and all of these cabinets, all custom made, um, solid wood cabinets. Made and, in Red, uh, Red Bay, Alabama. Red Bay, Alabama. Looks like they left your uh, roughing it smoothly bag right there. Tommy, can nice. you hold the camera for me real yes, quick? Yes, can. Come on up here. Nope. Let's see. You know what I'm looking for? Nope. What are you guess, looking for? <laughs> I'm looking for Bob Tiffin's autograph. He normally signs the buses. But I 
guess he doesn't sign all of them. Maybe he hit it somewhere. All right. Final one. Oh, I like that pullout that was in there. See that? There you go. It's pretty clean. Look at this. It's in all of them. Not only that, I really kind of wish people could be here with us, Tommy. Opening and closing these, you know what I'm saying? It's This is the real deal when it comes to cabinetry quality and construction. I can't believe he didn't sign this one. Well, when you take it to Red Bay, Alabama, they can get a sign for you. Continue on, Tommy. I just want to point out that the condition of this RV is spectacular. The furniture is really clean. We haven't even sent this to detail yet, and it feels like it's been through already. It's very clean. Even look at the carpet. Yeah, the porcelain. Yeah, the carpet it's still carpet, shiny. They're still very shiny. No issues with the flooring. I don't see any cosmetic issues. Just a clean all-around unit. Uh, coming through the back, of course, you got the ice and water on the door with our big residential fridge. Look how clean that is. We haven't detailed this. Wow. This is how the previous owner left it for us. Thank you. So that was uh, very nice. Up. Got your extra chairs, your extra carpet pieces right there. They're trading it in. They might as well leave that stuff with us. Here's your half bath. Wow. Nice toilet right there, too. That's prime poom position, Tommy. <laughs> coming on to the back here. Um, you've got your bedroom, king size bed, lots of storage in here, ceiling fan. Um, looks like we got some extra space right there. That light's flickering. Yeah, we're flickering some, so let's get out of here. Yeah, as we go it's to just the messing back up here, the camera. Um, dual vanities. Okay. Lots of space here, very comfortable for a living situation for folks to have. I like the way they did that. That's pretty Right, that's kind of neat. Keeps things from bouncing around back here. Good size shower and then a full walk in closet. You got a safe in here. You got a stackable washer dryer. And I mean, the amount of storage you have. I mean, I could see somebody full timing, long term camping in this. Look at those baskets. Not an issue. Pretty cool. Yeah, it looks good. It's a nice little touch. Right. I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what? So. What are you standing on, Tommy? This is going to be access education. to your engine there in the back. And you'll usually see it uh, back in the RV somewhere. This one's very accessible. Not that you'd have to get in there often, if ever, but it's still nice to have that built in. And they did it without making it look funny. Right, right. You got a safe right there. These little Shoe storage. Amazing. They left the, the fold up chairs that go with the other two up front in here, which is pretty nice of them. Altogether, a very nice unit. This one is priced. 289. 289. That's so, right. That's what you said. 289, 781. And that's before I twist anybody's arm, so that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good place to start. Hey Tommy, it looks like you've been working out some since the last <laughs> time we've done a pre-owner. You gonna twist some arms for us? I'm gonna twist any arm I can to get you the best possible deal out there. Perfect. Tommy, let's continue on. You know, and it is that time right now um, where we're starting to see better pricing on new, better pricing on used. It's really um, gotten back to a place we're all very comfortable with. It means it's going to be easier to get into an RV you love. So we're all very happy about that. And I really can't tell you um, about all of the inventory we have. I mean, we probably got 30, 35 pre-owned diesels, tons of Class A's pre-owned, C's, B's. I haven't seen a pre-owned inventory like this in years and years. We're excited to have it. It's gonna be great deals for a lot of different people. So Tommy, if somebody sees something on the show, they give you a call. But even if they don't see something and they want you to keep a lookout, how do they email you? It, my email is tbennett, two n's, two t's, at generalrv.com. Send me an email with what you're looking for, and I can go through this um, inventory we have. That inventory is always changing. We have a few come in every day, and we send a few out every day. Um, but if it is something more particular, I have a huge inventory right now. I'm sure we can find something that fits. Perfect. I saw some other small ones over there. Let's take a look at those. All right, Tommy, scaling it down a bit. Look at this beauty. We We've got a ton of nice Class C's out here, pre-owned, lots of them. We're gonna run through a good number of them. I'd like to start with this 2021 pre-owned Winnebago View 24D. Now this is a wonderful floor plan, very modern paint job. Look at how you have like a roof integrated awning system there. Very uh, up to date, very modern. Look at the door Winnebago uses here. Very unique RV door, but it closes up really quiet and really tight. And I think it's just very cool. Tommy. Let's take a look. I like you, but you're a liar. There is no way this is pre-owned. It's in excellent shape. Looks basically brand new. Um, there's not a thing wrong with it. It's even clean. Adaptive cruise control, lane assist, everything you want for Mercedes. Do you know the mileage? 
This, this has one, auto leveling as well. It does have auto leveling and it has 19,000 miles. So this RV is still going to be underneath that Mercedes warranty. Wow. And it's got the upgraded Mercedes chassis right there. Okay, too. good. I can see some wear there in the back, those black markings. Yeah. And it's like, that's a good thing, right? Yeah. Like, how is this unit so clean? Thank you so much to the previous owner for taking good care of their property. Absolutely. It's just going to give somebody else a great deal on a new, a new ish unit. Um, so it works out pretty good. Now, That's Tommy. Fridge. Yeah. Tell me why this unit is so popular. Well, it's got to be the Murphy bed layout. When you have the bath in the back like this, you get a really nice size shower and bathroom, great storage. And then the dual use of that Murphy bed gives you a couch and a big U-shaped dinette. Oh yeah. It's like the best of both worlds. Why don't you all remove those cushions for us? I got the button right back here. And then we'll drop the legs out. Bada bing, bada boom. It's a sofa during the day. Oh, sofa during the day. Just like that. You got the slatted um, wood pieces underneath here. They give you a little extra cushion. Really nice space there with a window next to you. Nice little built-in backboard there. Pretty cool. And then when you're all done, you just push this button, do a little clip clip. I like that on that. Very smooth. Yes, sir. Very nice. Again, bunk over the cab, huge U shaped dinette, Euro style cabinetry. Tommy, what is the price of this unit? This one is listed at $149. There you go. Let's take a look at the next one. All right. Oh, and I always forget to mention this. I love these screens right here. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that, that's pretty cool. I always forget to mention them in the videos. So that's really exciting. And again, um, you guys are gonna be looking at this and just be like, hey, I can get a new one for around 149. Kind of right, kind of wrong. Like not with all these options, you know? And, and again, it's still gonna be 159 for a new one without the full body paint, without the auto leveling. Um, and it might even be 169. The prices fluctuate so much. But again, 149 with all these options, looks like they added something to the roof as well. So, and, and just call Tommy, he'll take good care we'll of you. We'll go through the details for you. And I will tell you with inventory like we have right now, look at all these class C's. We are not tied to anything. So You're, we're not married to we're it. We're not married to it. We'll be happy to, to make a deal with you. Of course, if it's the right deal for you, then uh, we have to make. So this next one, I like this one because it's a very great floor plan. Very simple, no slides, 27 feet on the Chevy chassis right here. Excellent condition unit, and it's only priced at $59.9. So wow. getting into a Class C affordably, this is a winner for something that's still gonna have chassis warranty and everything else. So the Are you sure about the Chevy chassis? Yeah, I like the Chevy. Okay, no, 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 but like, what's the Chevy chassis warranty? Is that still five years? It's 560 on the Chevy okay, as well. Okay, nice. And this one's uh, 2019, so it's only a few years old. 9,222 miles. And it's in really good condition. It's clean. Uh, the furniture looks nice. There's no funny smells. I don't think they had pets or anything like that. Well, they probably used liquefied, um, my RV toilet treatment. That's why there's no funny smells. Just saying. Um, and there's a couple little um, touches that they added that show me that they took pretty good care of it. Like, look at this. It wow. didn't come originally with that. It was added and done well. Little things in the back there. Dang, it's... Tommy. It was added, comma, and done well. Because we've seen added, but you don't always get and done well. You know what I'm saying? I've seen some unique things in RVs over the years. This looks like it could have been factory installed, although we know that it was not. Did we ever sell that Dynamax with the uh, half bath office? Yeah, we did. I actually okay. um, got it to some new folks who are in it right now and loving it. Good, good. That was, that was very creative. So if you guys didn't see it, I do have a video on that. Um, but they took, it was a bath and a half unit. And the former owners turned the half bath into an office area. Really great people too. I worked with the previous owners on that um, when they moved into an American dream. Yeah. And uh, they were influential in, um, well, in, in helping make that unit wonderful uh, for a third owner. And they're influencers on TikTok. They are. They I forget are. their channel name. I think it's Fuel Your Wonder or something like that. That's right. it, Fuel Your Wonder. Man. But this here is great unit, very affordable, still easy to finance at its age, 59.9. I just think it's a wonderful way to get into a Class C. Yeah, for sure. 
Um, something else unique about this layout that you don't see a lot of times on C's is it has this huge pass-through storage area. Class C's are notoriously not big on storage outside, but check this out. Wow. Looks like they got a big old tote there as well. Also, we didn't call it out. Look at this Allegro. We're not going to show it on this video. That's Subs a 2015 Allegro 34 TGA. It's a great layout with tons of space, still under 35 feet. That is a pretty good one here too. An old nice voyage, a bunch of wind sports. I probably have seven or eight pre-owned wind sports right now and all kinds of different floor plans. Tommy, they got to subscribe to pre-owned to check it all out. That's right. We'd be happy to show you every single one of them. But uh, one thing we didn't mention on that Freelander, no slides. No slides. Nope. Yeah. Very you know. simple, not a lot to go wrong. Um, all together, a pretty great unit. So next up, we've got a Quantum SE28, which is a wonderful layout. It has a very similar type of storage in the back as he has there. In fact, it's basically the same layout with a slide. Tommy, can we take a look at that one after this one? Yes. Oh No, only if people hit the thumbs up button. Only if people hit the thumbs up, and like, subscribe, follow us. Awesome. We'll show you all up. So um, right here, you've got an SE28. 20, year 2020. It's a 2020, that's right. Top on it. Also, there's a Winnebago Rio there. If yeah. you guys check out Matt's RV or use pre-owned, I have a video on that already out. All right. So this unit, um, I like how they have the TV directly across from the couch as it would compare to that other unit. You can see it's a bit upgraded. Um, so you have nice woodwork, really nice furniture. This couch you see here is actually a uh, aftermarket couch. Uh, theater seating set up. Kind of oh, we have Thomas Paine, only 5,600 miles. So this thing is just getting warmed up. You got the nice leather seats up in the front, tons of storage in this floor plan. You know, a lot of times when they do an aftermarket sofa, it doesn't blend in well. If you didn't say anything, I would have just rolled with it. I, I couldn't tell that it was aftermarket. Yeah, it matches pretty well. Pretty well. It's a good setup. So as we move to the back here, one little difference as it compares to that last floor plan is that you have a side bath instead of a split bath. Oh. Um, so really nice bathroom here. You got some extra space in the shower. Really nice um, vanity top there. I um, do want to point out there is a crack in the mirror here. Um, we will not fix that, and I don't recommend negotiating us fixing that. Uh, you, can, you can hire somebody to fix that for a lot cheaper. I'd focus more on getting the better deal on this and just fixing that yourself, swapping out a mirror than having us do it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. I mean, I can fix this. We can. We can. To do, but, but I'd rather try costs, to get a better price. Yes. For what it costs to do it, this is uh, not a big deal there. You know, and then just so everybody knows, with pre-owned, when it's essential stuff, they're going to take care of it. You know what I'm saying? Yes, all functional components. I mean, we don't want to give you an RV that doesn't work. Right. right. We want the RV to work the right way, nice and clean, fresh detail, and then we're going to go through all the functional components to get it into the right working condition. Now, let me tell you, everything is negotiable. So even if it was something cosmetic for the right price, we'd be happy to fix it. Yep. Uh, but each unit is going to be functionally sound when you get it with all working components. Um, we're going to change the engine oil, fill it up with fuel, and you'll be on your way. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. And Tommy, how much is this unit? With this unit. I mean, I love the cabinetry. Yes. Thor does. This Phenomenal. Is, this is priced with 5,600 miles at 87,781. Give them a call. Oh, and I do want to add something. I just noticed this as well. There is some wearing on that Thomas Paine. But again, we sell these brand new. So if that's something that you want to swap out, you know, it's just like, maybe we can. For me, i rather focus on getting the better deal I mean, to each their own. A new one of these is, because um, I have a couple of those in stock too, we got a new one discounted from 150 to 107 which is a great deal on a brand new one, about as good as it's going to get. But if you look at this used one, you know, it's a couple years old, you're going to save over $20,000 before we even start. Something like this couple hundred dollar couch. I, I would take this couch for 20 grand. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it seems like a pretty good deal. All right, Tommy, I think enough people have smashed that thumbs up button. So can we take a look at the Melbourne? Yes. All right. Beautiful Melbourne Prestige. This is going to be sister product to the Thor, I mean, to the Integra Quest that we sell. Yes. But this one's a 2020, and the full body paint looks absolutely fantastic. Really nice paint. Let's take a look. Whoa! 1302 cargo carrying capacity is phenomenal for a Mercedes. 
This does have the upgraded chassis that you see there up front. Um, this is a little unique with what we have in the back here. I want to show this to you. Whoa, what they do back there? Well, it's it's missing the two twin beds, and it has this big bed um, in here. So, I mean, depending on what you want to do with it, previous owner might have liked to have this extra space on the side, but you could get the twin beds to fit back in there. Yeah. Um, it wouldn't be a hard thing to get from Jayco. Yeah, yeah, just reach out to Jayco, and they'll be able to take care of you. Condition-wise, um, it looks great, though. Or, I mean, or even our parts department, you know, reach out, you know, we'll be able to figure something out for you. We could always... If you guys reach out to our parts department, they'll be able to figure something out. Nice tables. You never see these. Yeah, you never They, they always show up missing. Beautiful um, cabinetry. This does have a Bigfoot um, hydraulic automatic system. Um, some nice tech features in here. Great layout. Um, this one, let's see where this one's priced. The metal board. This one is a 2020 and it's priced at $83,000. Now, Tommy, do you know why that's so inexpensive? Because it has some miles on it. This one oh. has um, eight, it's 80,000 miles on it. So I think because of the mileage being a little higher, we went ahead and dropped that price down. Now, a lot of folks get into diesel motorhomes because of their longevity. So 80,000 miles doesn't uh, seem like a lot with an engine that can go hundreds and hundreds of thousands of miles. Not only that, the engine on the Mercedes are all the same. They're all the 3.0 V6. But what isn't the same is the technology package. And I'm looking here, Tommy, and that does not look like this unit has adaptive cruise control lane assist. Can you correct me if I'm wrong? This one does not have the adaptive cruise control. You're absolutely right on that. A good telltale sign for that, if you're looking at units like this, if you don't have the motorized seats with yep. controls that's on the side, that's gonna mean that it has the chassis without the adaptive cruise control and collision mitigation. But hey, we're talking huge discounts and to get in a beautiful full body paint mercedes class b plus like this with bigfoot for under truthfully under a hundred thousand let alone 83 83 yeah it's Crazy. a really great deal for for what it has there and even though it has the miles on it this is a clean unit it's clean it's very clean the, the floors everything else it doesn't look like it's had a lot of real lived in use for the mileage it had man tommy i'm glad people smash that thumbs up button so here's a vacationer. I'm not gonna show it. Um, I, I will actually publish this video tonight as well. So if you watch this video right now, you guys, when you kick it over to Matt's RV Reviews pre-owned, I'll have a whole video. This is a vacationer 36H. Yes, which is a bath and a half bunkhouse floor plan. It's a great layout. They really don't make any more. Uh, but it's going to be a huge discount on what you would look at on a new one. Another great unit to consider. This next one is a 2015 uh, Winnebago Trend. Yeah, can you get the lights on? Perfect. This is a Winnebago Trend, guys. This is going to be just like what Nate and Marissa just bought on the Ram Promaster. But I think they bought the Viva, which was the Atasca version. This is the Trend. So show us what we got going on in here. Very unique layout here. You have a rear bath setup, which really, for a small unit, gives oh, wow. you a huge amount of space. Um, a lot of folks, I would think, would consider something like this as opposed to maybe a Class B or yep. some other small type of unit. It's going to give you that same comfortability in drive, mobility for parking and getting around. And then look at the space you have in here. You got wow. a big couch, a big dinette. So hey, where do I go to sleep? Tommy, wait, this is very nice. And you know, a lot of people are liking this, you know, um, you know, you got four seaters here, sofa here, but Tommy, I must agree, when I'm looking for a motorhome, I want something that I could sleep in. So I I'm gonna take a pass on this motorhome. Well, hold up just a second. Oh. All right, because there's this little secret to it. You've what? got a drop down bed here. This whole bed will fold down to about right here above these. And then you got a full size bed right here in the unit. See these things on the side here? Yes. You come down. It's a really smart way to get the best of both worlds. Just like your Murphy bed setup, except we're coming from the ceiling. Do we know how to get it down? I think your control is right there in the back. Is this it? There it is. There it is. Oh man, that is cool. So by the way, guys, when we walk through these, these are all not pre-discussed. Well, don't bring it all the way down because you have to fold this piece here. Okay. And that piece on the side there, you got to fold as well. But I'm glad you're room. picking up my fake acting. Yes. <laughs> that is so funny. Man, this is pretty cool. So it's kind of like bunk beds. 
that goes down you know what i'm saying and this can hold at any point too i remember these back in the day so you could sleep a bunch of people in here and for a unit like this it's going to have the mobility the sleeping the big bathroom nice size fridge lots of storage it's priced at only sixty nine thousand. wow and you know what um tommy those new wing amps are coming out and um everybody's like super impressed with them this is literally what it is. It's it's a B plus on the Ford Transit with the drop down bed. Now those are a little bit smaller, but I rather I mean this is truthfully this is a huge motorhome for how small it is. Yes, all the space you have. It's only twenty three feet long. It has the mobility of riding on that Ram Promaster. This is a great unit. Nice, nice, perfect, Tommy. There's uh, two more motorhomes down there. We'd love to check them out if you have the time. Let's do it. Let's do it. There's two um, more right over here. Some that are pretty similar to what we have seen earlier, uh, but we have so much inventory right now that it just makes things uh, pretty great. And Tommy, we really appreciate your time coming on the show. Guys, just so you know, um, when you guys come and ask for Tommy, make sure you tell him you see it on the show. It, you know, it really, it, Tommy doesn't get paid to help me, you know? So I appreciate you doing that. And so when you guys tell him you see him on the show, that just, it encourages him to want to help out more. And, and we, I want to thank you personally. So thank you. I'm happy to do it. I love helping out. These videos are so much fun and we get to help out a lot of people too. And yeah. just learning about RVs, seeing what inventory is out there, making the shopping experience easier. I'm happy to do it. Now, Tommy, we don't need to go in this one because we've already been in a 22D. But look at what the aftermarket they did on this. Yeah, we call this a cattle pusher down here in Florida. So he's got a nice cattle pusher with the light bar set up. I think it's just really cool looking. Um, and I guess, I mean, you could sit on it. You can do whatever you like. <laughs> Still very, dude, just as clean as the last one. Very clean. It's in great condition. It's got that cool cattle pusher up in the front. I want to show you another one right here, though, because this one's pretty unique. This is an era 170C, but if you look on this side, you'll see something you don't really see a lot of on a Class B motor. Oh, this is just like JD's with the slide out. Very yeah, nice. Class B with the slide. You never see this. I just think it's really cool. You've only ever seen it in the Winnebago era. This one is a 2015 170C um, era. Oh, we locked out. Here, I'll let you in. Thank you. Man, a Class B motorhome. Tommy, what a way to end it. You know what I'm saying? A Class B motorhome with a slide out. Tommy, I can't believe you don't remember talking about me trying to hurdle the cow and you got to jump on them and stuff. Come on out to the farm. We can do it anytime. Dude, I like, think, buddy. truthfully, I think it'd be hilarious for me to try to do that. <laughs> okay, so really Whoa, layout yes. Here. This will make out into a little bed, which is kind of where you sleep. And having that dual purpose setup is what gives you all of this extra space. So in a Class B motorhome, this is about 24 feet long. You never see a shower like this. Check this out back here. All this storage, all this space. And it's kind of hard to believe that this is a 2015 yeah. because it has this lighter woodwork. Right, that like they're doing today. Like you see so popular nowadays. Again, I've always said it, you know, Winnebago kind of, you know, they, they they're class a after the sun cruiser like the first one like that 2017 18 19 20 my opinion they got a little lazy with innovations on the class a gas side class c's but their class b's have always been the leaders Absolutely. and you could tell you could tell right here i mean it's beautiful and this is what you're seeing in today's units you know what i'm saying they're way ahead of the curve as far as things like that goes um and, and just really a unique type of class b yeah and for a bathroom for us both to be able to fit in at the same time that's unbelievable. Hang, hang on a second tommy porcelain for a b van this is a prime poom position bing very nice and again a great shower too again it's definitely not the best toilet situation but for a b-van it's pretty good three burner stove in here you don't see a lot of that all together this is a great unit let's see what we have this one priced at Oop, let me slide through and this is the older mercedes chassis of course has 
36,000 miles, and it's priced at $94,000. So wow. compared to what a new one of these cost, a Winnebago era, I think it's probably getting close to two. Wow. Well, Tommy, that's it. That's the video. Guys, thank you again so much. If you guys love pre-owned, make sure you check out the new channel, Matt's Review and Reviews Pre-Owned. Um, if you guys are in the Tampa area and you're looking to buy any of these units, call Tommy. If you didn't see something pre-owned that you liked, email Tommy. Or even if you're looking at something new, just make sure when you come to the Tampa store, check in with Tommy. And again, if you guys could tell him that you see him on the show, it, it doesn't do him any justice or me any justice, but it makes him want to volunteer and help me more. And we appreciate you um, just adding a new spin to the show. What do you want to say to America? Thank you so much. I really appreciate the opportunity to help out, tell people about the wonderful inventory we have here, and just help folks learn more about RVs. I love to do it. So um, anything I can ever do, make sure you give me a call and I can help you out too. Thanks so much, Tommy. See you guys next time. See you later.